be it family, work or personal reasons, we all encounter periods where we struggle to train as consistently as we would like to. When this happens, the goal of training is simply to maintain fitness rather than improve. The article published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research titled Maintaining Physical Performance, the Minimal Dose of Exercise Needed to Preserve Endurance and Strength Over Time by Barry Spearing and colleagues, reviewed studies that examined the effects of reduced training on performance. The studies they reviewed all used very similar experimental designs. Typically, participants performed a standardised resistance or endurance training program for several weeks. For example, completing endurance training for 40 minutes, six times per week, for 10 weeks at an intensity of 80% of maximum heart rate. Or performing three sets of strength training exercises three times per week for 10 weeks using an intensity of between 8 to 12 repetition maximum. Subsequently, participants complete a period of reduced training for several weeks by decreasing training frequency while maintaining training intensity. For example, for endurance training, participants would perform 40 minutes twice per week for 10 weeks at 80% of maximum heart rate. And for strength, performing three sets of between 8 to 12 repetition maximum would only be performed once a week for 10 weeks. Physical performance, for example endurance, strength or muscle size, would then be measured pre-training, post-training and post-reduced training. In their review, Barry and colleagues interpret the physical performance outcomes as having one of four potential outcomes. One, physical performance increased further compared to post-training values. Two, physical performance was fully maintained, i.e. no change compared to post-training values. Three, physical performance was partially maintained, i.e. reduced compared to post-training values but greater than pre-training values. Or four, physical performance was not maintained, i.e. significantly reduced compared to post-training values slash similar to pre-training values. For the physical performance outcomes from the studies reviewed, Barry and colleagues have provided recommendations for the general public. This presentation, brought to you by Talking Sports Science, will provide a summary of their recommendations regarding the minimum frequency, volume and intensity of endurance and strength exercises needed to maintain physical performance over time. Firstly, endurance performance. In general populations, endurance performance can be maintained for up to 15 weeks when training frequency is reduced to as little as two sessions per week or when exercise volume is reduced by 33 to 66%. This translates to between 13 and 26 minutes per session. However, this is only as long as the exercise intensity, i.e. exercising heart rate, is maintained as high as reasonably possible. Moving on to strength and muscle size in younger populations. For individuals between the ages of 20 to 35 years old, strength and muscle size can be maintained for up to 32 weeks, with as little as one session of strength training per week and one set per exercise. However, again, this is only if the relative exercise intensity, i.e. percentage of one repetition maximum, is maintained. Whereas for muscle size, in older populations, between the ages of 60 to 75 years, in comparison to younger populations, in order for them to maintain muscle bulk, older populations may require up to two sessions per week and two to three sets per exercise. And that concludes the recommendations 
regarding the minimal dose of exercise needed to hold on to your endurance and strength gains. The key take home message is exercise intensity needs to be maintained to hold on to your training gains whilst encountering a period of reduced training frequency and overall volume. Thanks for listening folks, see you next time.